All right, so this is the big reveal. Uh, my previous video on Graxpert, the uh, new astronomical background extraction software, um, I left it that uh, one of the images I had applied Graxpert to, the other image I uh, applied uh, DBE to, dynamic background extraction in uh, PixInsight. Um, and I left it, which one do you guys think is the one that had DBE applied and which one do you think is the uh, Graxpert uh, image? So without further do here's the big reveal uh, let's have a quick look and uh, see what the uh, the answer is so I'll just switch over to PixInsight here and uh, this is how I left it so uh, these two images one of them had Graxpert applied and uh, one of them had DBE applied and it was I, I actually uh, fibbed and uh, tried to fool you guys so the image on the left was Graxpert uh, I didn't actually mix up the images I left them as they were and some people got it some people didn't and um, the the end results I think are very uh, similar um, in nature. Um, there, there's a little uh, difference. I think the Graxpert actually probably did a slightly better job, especially uh, if we look in the uh, corner here, um, this corner compared to this corner. Uh, this is the, the PixInsight DBE and this is the Graxpert uh, background extraction. So this uh, this corner in particular uh, had better treatment done by Graxpert than, uh, than what dynamic background extraction did. Now, we're talking very minimal differences and you could probably tweak uh, the DBE uh, a little bit to uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, further remove that bit of gradient that still exists in the bottom corner. But for the sake of the comparison and trying to keep things somewhat fair, I did try to keep the sample points the same. Very close to what I used in Graxpert um, in terms of the sample box layout. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It uh, helps the channel grow. The more people that subscribe, the more people that like, the more people that comment, the more my channel and the videos get promoted. And that just could help someone, a beginner out there, like we all were at one point, that could help that beginner get some valuable information that they're searching for. So please consider subscribing. Uh, uh, liking and commenting and all that good stuff. So this is the uh, this image here is the uh, this is the original image, okay, um, without any uh, background extraction applied to it. Um, so we've got uh, the gradient occurring up here and going across the image. Uh, most most dominantly, the gradient is up here in the corner. Uh, this is the sample layout that I used for uh, dynamic background extraction DBE and PixInsight, which was a very uh, similar layout, um, if not a very close pro approximation to what I used in uh, Graxpert. And I applied this, and um, let me just uh, close off DBE here. I applied that to this image here, which is the image on the right, uh, the dynamic background extraction image. And this is the result I got. Um, if we compare the two backgrounds, uh, the Graxpert background extraction, uh, and the dynamic background extraction, they're very similar. Uh, th there is a slight difference between the two, but they are very similar. So uh, which, which one does a better job? Um, I suspect that they both do an equally good job. And um, I think that you'll be happy with both of them, either of them. Uh, but for some people, they have trouble, as I mentioned in the previous video, they have trouble with dynamic background extraction and uh, don't seem to be able to get it to work to their satisfaction. They might find that uh, Graxpert is an easier way to accomplish that. Um, it It's um, graphic, uh, the, the user interface uh, is a little more intuitive uh, than what dynamic background extraction is, I think. Um, but people might just find that they, it, they just get a better result. Uh, they like the result that they get from Graxpert, they might find that uh, they want to use that instead of dynamic background extraction. And that is perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong in this. Uh, whatever works best for the artist, uh, whatever tool the artist needs to use is the tool the artist needs to use. So anyways, um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide uh, which route you want to go. Do you want to uh, keep using dynamic background extraction inside PixInsight or do you want to start out with 
with uh, that master light and uh, run it through Graxpert first and then bring it into Pix and Sight for continued processing. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, uh, what you're planning to do, and uh, if you have any other thoughts on Graxpert uh, or Pix and Sight dynamic background extraction, let me know in the comments. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope this was fun, and uh, we'll see you again in another video for now. Take care and clear skies. Thank you.